I play a lot of games, so why don't you subscribe, hit the like, turn on the bell. And with that said, welcome back to the Amazing Gamer 366. Hello everybody and welcome back. Pretty much I got here a very good gameplay that I got with my friend Marco. I, yes, I am aware that Storm the Ages, he has come out. There will be a mini video coming up soon about from the agency or the cosmetics that you can earn. But we're gonna take out this super good game. And we're actually gonna be narrating through it. So by my understanding, yes, this is gameplay. So if you don't know, the map, like the um oh geez, great, it's glitching, it's glitching. Yeah, see, it's actually doing that. But it so, pretty much, me and my Marco, sadly, my friend Marco was extremely lagging. And that's pretty much all she wrote. He was just extremely lagging. Now, I was trying to complete one of these Star of the Agency challenges where I literally had spread at different bases. So, I land at the agency, or I land at the safe house. Tip, this is where you can actually go get one of the safe houses. And then I made one mistake. I landed directly on the house. Tip, don't do this. You're going to get sprayed down by tons of henchmen. Okay, so I grab my pump. I pump my way out of that man. I pump my way out of this man. And I thought one of the charges was to do this. I didn't. I, I suddenly made my end because of this and just even complete the challenge. I know. Very sad. I just realized that it's like she's actually using one of the pickaxes that you want. I actually thought that my, was my friend, Marco. It was not my friend. I decided to crawl out. Or Yeah, I definitely decided to crawl out and get out. Then I think this dude's finishing me. He was gladly not. Then Marco, my friend to the rescue, getting the good gameplay, pumps or purple tactical shotguns him out of the way. Now we were originally going to do a challenge, but I picked up a green and did not want to. So then he gladly starts reviving me. And now I'm back in the fight. He has three kills, I believe. No, one kill. Then, he's doing actually the purple only challenge because his skin's purple. But I obviously want to pick up all of this loot that has came down on my glory. Uh, for some reason, I don't also pick up that shield. For some reason I do that, I think it's just because I think it's gonna be harder for me to hit if I'm doing that. And then I'm just drinking me shield. Cause that's how pro gamers do it. Very, very pro. So, trust me, this game doesn't look good. I've already been knocked. I haven't even got a single elimination yet. But trust me, this game gets good very quickly. It's a very short 19 minute game, probably one of my quickest. Goes very quickly. And, boom, first kill. Sorry, gun goes pew pew. That's a weird name, I just realized that. And that was my first kill. Now, as you can see, I actually hear somebody over at Misty Meadows. I thought it was somewhere else. But I think I do inevitably. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these players. You don't shoot at me. You don't. Unless you want to die. Which, and also keep in mind, this is, has been like my fifth game of the day. Don't get what he's doing there. But my friend just keeps on saying, Ah, oh, crap, my game's lagging. At one point, I don't even think it treats him nicely. I don't remember exactly, but I remember that one point, it's a stream nicely. Now, I, then I know that players are over there. And I was like, man, I'm just gonna go kill these people. 
So, I walk over there. Oh, nice. Oh, very cool. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then I realized somebody's shooting at me. And I'm like, okay, where are these people? They're right, are they ready to die? And I realized one's up here. And then my stupid control trip made me look up. And boom. That man died. This is the only very quick fight. I also hear somebody else. I, I actually said that I heard gunshots. I actually remember this moment well because I because Marco was saying, do you need help? And then I realized somebody else is coming. And they met the wrong end of my gun. <laughs> Very easy kill, must have been a bot. So I start healing up, I start switching, I start just doing everything. Wearing a very nice skin combo, I guess. Mainly, I don't know. It's because... Oh, yeah. One of my favorite... One of the weirdest parts in this game starts happening. Very, very soon. Oh, yeah. This part, he was saying, don't take my heavy sniper. Because he actually dropped it. I was obviously looking for players. Our entire team right now had seven kills. Pretty good for a, like just a hot drop location. Now, th now also, right now the game is filled with a lot of bots, so probably a lot of my kills are going to be bots. At that moment, I was dropping some shields for Marco, cause he doesn't have shields. And then I know at this part, Marco just kept on saying, crap, my game just keeps on lagging and lagging. And I, th and all of a sudden he says, my game just, and I believe at one point he just gets kicked from the game. Yeah, yeah, at this point he just said I was just running in place. So, very soon, I believe like right about now, he says that, uh, my game. Yeah, I was pickaxing him. And he just said, uh, my game just kicked me out. Very sad, very sad indeed, but we're not gonna focus on lust. Cause trust me, this game is a lot more than the lost. So I obviously am just getting ready to pick up his heavy and his very good tactical shotgun because all the loot falls down was designed to build a couple walls so the loot doesn't fully fall down. And they just keep on waiting for his loot to fall. And we were on a FaceTime call, so I could still hear him. But he was just not moving, he wasn't playing, his game kicked him out. And yeah. So, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm like, when's this boy's loot going to drop? I want it. I'm surprised I wasn't shot at, because as you can see in the map, there is an enemy coming. And I don't think I ever noticed that build. Because I never took... I don't get... Oh, yep, and this is when it finally kicks him out. And I'm like, oh, yeah. All that loot, all that loot is mine. So, I take that. I also take his heavy. I also take some of those jumps. Now, I can't believe I haven't realized that player. I can't believe it. I must have never realized that somebody built... But somebody did build. And this is the moment I believe where I start getting shot at. I was just scanning the area. Uh, for some reason, I walked forward. And then I walked back for some reason. Oh yeah, I was just coming to loot up this house very quickly. Just saying, replay isn't the best. But at least they have it. I've gotten so many good Apex games but they don't have a replay system I don't get why I'm talking about Apex this is a Fortnite video so yeah I decided to come did I not hear that chest jeez well I wasn't wearing my headphones I right now I am wearing my headphones oh, yeah I go to pick this gun and as you can see somebody's using my the probably some of my loot and I think I know him. 
because I do know I tried to hit up a smart, smart snipe. First, I'm just not good with sniping in in Fortnite. Oh yeah, and then this is the point where I start getting shot at. And I'm so glad that this new tried to just challenge me. Yeah, yeah, that happened. In case you were wondering, that just that happened. And they actually spray him down. Very slowly with bullets. That's, if you want to use that gun very effectively, just do a slow spray. Don't hold down the trigger. Just do a slow spray. Don't don't spray and pray with heavy assault rifle. I'm just saying the heavy assault rifle is good. People do not use it. And I'm very surprised. And I'm just like, boy, you're about to die. And I get to my six kill mark. I realized that this man has a legendary scar. And I was like, I literally was just, Marco, I just got a legendary scar. I pick up this, I go back up, or I, I just realized that was one mini. And then I go over here, or why did I just say here? Oh, sorry. So I go over here, grab another mini, grab the flopper, grab another flopper, I believe. And quickly heal the other part of my house. Oh yeah, I thought I healed it. Obviously, I do play on controller. I think um, people don't give a controller enough credit. But yeah, so I loot up. My friend realized I'm having a super good game. He actually said that I was thought I was going to die. And honestly, it's true. But I have put off many solo duos. Solo squads is the hard. And I start running for the circle. Because obviously the circle is not that close to my position. As you can see, nine circles happen in this game. And yes, I survived all nine. Which is very impressive. So. Then I decided to go loot up this house. I see a chest. I thought, eh, what the heck. I could have something good in it. It ends up having nothing good in it. So, yep, continue looting. I, I, I'm just, I just want to realize that you miss a lot of things in actual games, but then in replay mode, you actually see these and you see tons of smart decisions that you could have made. So if you die in a game, I would recommend going back into replay mode and kind of looking back on what decisions you made and how you could actually better your game. In every single match. Every single match will get you better in Fortnite. So I'm actually looking, just looking for another player to kill because my friend's waiting for me to invite him back. And as you can see on the player, that blue. That blue is not gonna have a good day. Or not have a good game, I guess. Because I see him. I think, eh, let's just go for a snipe first. This player stops walk, starts walking backwards and I can't believe that shot didn't hit. For some reason, oh, I thought I went for another snipe. And then the scar, I realized, is absolutely broken. And boom, that's my seventh elimination. And trust me, this game starts to get really good. Because I thought I was going to die. I don't get why I healed on my floppers then. But that was a grand total of six minis. I was going to head for that supply drop. But then it didn't have a good day or didn't get a good drop. And was not in the circle. Cry. But eh, it happens every game. But still. It could have been something very good. So, now I'm heading. We are getting to now the top six, or top nine players. I wasn't even really paying attention. I thought there was still a good amount of players left. And then, and then I start looking up and think, well, wow, there's probably a couple duos left. And all that good stuff. And I decided to loot this house real quickly because if you hear a chest, you do the house. And as you can see, somebody was going for that very risky supply drop. I 
I'm surprised I didn't see that because it was actually hanging for that supply drop. But I didn't see that. But don't worry. Orange is gonna die. Which and I'm also going to tell you a tip in this video and you're gonna get why stop wearing the neon wings back wing in actual games. It will get you killed. So let's see where all the players are in their final positions. Well, it's actually only showing two, I guess. It's only showing me and another player. So it must just be in this certain area. Seriously, it's just, you're gonna see in these final couple of players just stop wearing the neon wings back thing. It's not good. Will get you killed. And just saying that is a challenge place if you want to go get it. Actually, I don't even think any. Yeah, none of those things even noted for me. I don't believe. So I see a helicopter. I'm not going to go to challenge. Please don't be challenging on helicopters. They just get you killed. And as this game goes on, you're going to see why. Massively why you should not wear the neon wings back in actual games. Creative, fine. But anything else, no. Get to kill. Hey, told me Marco, wow, that's a coincidence. I just found a scar for you. So, hi. Obviously, head for the high ground. Top five squads. I'm saying crap, there's only seven players left. And the game will continue going and going. There's five more sur storm circles, I believe. Or I don't think I actually went through them all. Either way. So, I know I saw that player. I didn't take a shot, though. And I didn't know if I wanted to challenge or not. I don't, I don't believe I ended up challenging. Or I think I was about to go challenging. I think something stopped me from challenging though. Because obviously high ground. Maybe it's, might be the start of why you don't wear the neon wings back when it. So, and boom, that's why. Look at the, look at the bottom corner and you will see like the neon wings back when is so bright. I think. I saw this player, and I was like, boy, I'm done. See, look at the Neon Wings back thing. That is a Neon Wings. I confirmed it. There's no way that's not a Neon Wings back thing. And I just start shredding these players. They're obviously trying to heal. You made the sad mistake. Chocolate ate wolf. Is that, is that? And then that dude died. Now, there's only four players left. I think everybody heard the commotion. I think they're, but I don't think anybody challenges me. Not yet, not yet, not just yet. But today, but, but I do get shot at. I don't know if you saw that. I guess it was from the players on the top. I do get shot up and I'm thinking, oh crap, this is probably gonna be my end. Marco was saying, get in a box to just invite me to your party. And I was like, no. Now this is when I knew it was going to be a final game destination because of this right here. I got my build shot up from under me. And I was like, okay, time to kill this. Time to kill. Final player I believe gets killed by the storm or had to disconnect. I know it said take took the L. And then we're getting, we are honestly just getting, I get shot at. And boom again! This is why you don't wear neon wings. Your kill rate, your ki oh geez, message just lagged. But your kill rate is gonna be going up so much. And then boom, there we go. I got a sweet victory royale with 11 kills. I emote, and that's gonna be in the and that's gonna be in the end of the video. So make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and turn on the notification bell. And again, promise they are video today about um, Stormy Agency. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.